and here we are back again. Um, I know we've talked about uh, the tunnel before and we did the thing on the cave, but um, after watching the Factional Fight um, video this week uh, on their tunnel, I decided to do uh, a bit of an in-depth um, episode on how I made my tunnel. So, um, here is the, like a diagram I made up of how it was done. So we started off down the bottom at the entrance, which you can see down uh, at the right hand corner of the, the picture. And basically what it did is um, initially Daz uh, made a, uh, a ladder fence all the way up the top. He wanted to have a look at the up on the ridge, which is like up to the tunnel exit, about that round about there is where the, the ridge is. So uh, he made the ladder and climbed it and I decided at that point that I wanted to make a deed on top of the mountain. So I thought, well, we're going to have to get up there and I don't want to walk up fence ladder every time, so I need to make a tunnel. So what I did then was I, um, I climbed up, I counted every slope that was up the, up the hill, up the cliff, and it ended up being 24 tiles, as you can see there. So 24 tiles into the direction of the, that the tunnel was going to go. And so I worked out that it was 1845 slope. So what I did was um, it actually ended up being like an average of 77 slope over the 24 tiles. But um, I um, then um, went, okay, 1845 divided by the 20 slope, and I got 92. So, I did that, and uh, also needed to add the 24 tiles to that to make it so that when I divide the the one direction um, up, and then up to the other direction, I need to add the 25, so I get out at the exact point. So that ended up being 116. So then I divided that by 2 and I got 58. So everything matched up pretty good. Um, the only reason perhaps it didn't was the fact that uh, I had a couple of flat turns in the, uh, on the way up. So it means that I didn't get that 20 slope going. So I was a little bit under. But uh, I did a little bit of left turn and then a right turn and a, you know, a little bit of a right turn again or something like that. And it lined up... Uh, you know, pretty nicely, and uh, we put a lamp, a lantern, or a campfire inside the, um, the tunnel exit, which I had already tunneled into um, before that. And I climbed up the ladders and did that so I could kind of see where I was headed. I had uh, one character on one side, and uh, Daz also helped me. And I think on a previous video, uh, video we showed that us breaking through. Um, I just didn't want to head too far over um, the cliffside, like heading over this way to the north, because I didn't know how far the rock went or you know that type of thing. So um, yeah, and uh, there's a drop shaft to the left, and uh, as you can see, I've been. I'll show you that drop shaft as we get down further. There it is. There, a bit of an edit there, and I've been busy doing um, the old. Uh, reinforce, reinforcing the walls because I've had to clear out a couple of tiles and there's a pig. So yes, um, Garrett helped me with a couple of those. He gave me 30 or so, which definitely helped out, but I have many, many to go. As you can see, you know, 116 tiles times, you know, obviously two. Uh, it's a little bit painful, but uh, I don't want to have to mine out these uh, tiles um, over and over, so I'm getting into it. And as you can see, um, all these have been done. I'm going to raise the roofs, roofs a bit, the roof, the mine roof, tunnel roof, uh, up. Because uh, when you travel in a, in a cart, um, it's, you don't want to poke your head through. And I'm not going to do a double lane uh, um, tunnel because that's uh, just no, that's not going to happen. So basically, um, you know, a lot of people make tunnels like this, and uh, they have, you know. They're on mountains that are kind of down and reach down to sea level. So basically what you can do there is you can just um, get up the top, mine all the way down till you hit water, and then uh, just mine straight out to the coast, which is fantastic. But uh, obviously they didn't have the luxury because we're already very high 
uh, here, even in the valley it's still very high, so uh, I had to find a different way to do it. So here we are, heading down, I think some of these uh, s um, reinforced walls actually come from up the top, where um, uh, I'd done it up, and as you know, uh, underground is two-dimensional, so if you do one up, you do one down. There's the drop shaft to the left, which we saw before, and uh, once again, a couple of reinforcements, reinforced walls, and we're heading down to the pretty much the last part of the uh, the tunnel. Uh, I still get to do a lot of reinforcing here. Um, shouldn't be too long now, and we'll head out of the tunnel, and we'll be just about done. But um, you know, I got to thank Daz and. Uh, and uh, Lakai for helping me doing the digging on this one. They helped me a little bit. Uh, uh, but uh, my Alton and I did uh, a huge chunk of it. A huge, huge chunk. As you can see, we're out. And uh, here's our lovely entrance. A couple of trees. Uh, definitely growing from you know the last video that I did before. As you can see right up the top there, that's where the, uh, my, the, you know, the exit is. And there's those little uh, fence fences up which um, Daz did, which uh, definitely helped. I didn't want to travel up those every time, did I? And you obviously can't take a cart. So here we are down in the valley, and it's a fantastic valley. And I hope everyone enjoyed this video of uh, you know how the old tunnel was made. Um, I do have another tunnel heading uh, north, but uh, I probably have to do that one at a different time. So. Um, you know, that's another long uh, tunnel, not as long as this one, but still uh, definitely a lot of work. I've done a lot of reinforcing in that one already, so I will definitely do a video showing uh, how that one is going. So basically, uh, we'll just check out the cliff as we uh, head out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all later.